हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स सब्जेक्ट इंग्लिश क्लास थ्री चैप्टर टू माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई वांट यू टू रीड द चैप्टर एंड आफ्टर रीडिंग द चैप्टर यू ट्राई टू सॉल्व आंसर द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन ओके सो राइट नाउ आई रीड द क्वेश्चन एंड टेल द आंसर फॉर यू सो प्लीज ट्राई टू लिसन द क्वेश्चन द आंसर्स केयरफुली एंड राइट इट इन योर कॉपी विद करेक्ट स्पेलिंग वर्ड्स नंबर वन वे डिड द कपल वॉन्ट टू गो आंसर द कपल वॉन्टेड टू गो ऑन ए पील The couple wanted to go on a pilgrimage. Number two, who did they entrust their money with? Answer: They entrusted their money with his friend, a shopkeeper. They entrusted their money with his friend, a shopkeeper. Number three, how did they hide the money? Answer: They put everything inside a pot and top it up with betel nuts. In this way, they hide the money. How did they hide the money? They put everything inside a pot and top it up with betel nuts. In this way, they hide the money. Number four. What happened on the return when he asked for his pot? On the return when he asked for his pot, and then he went home and emptied the pot. He found only betel nuts. There was no trash of his bag of money. On the return when he asked for his pot, and then he went home and emptied the pot. He found only betel nuts. There was no trash of his bag of money. Number five. Was the king able to help? Who helped? Answer: No, the king was not able to help. Seven spooks helped him. No, the king was not able to help. Seven spooks helped him. Number six. What did he do, and how did the seven spooks help? Answer: He brought the. He brought that same pot along with the betel nuts, and the seven spooks slipped inside the pot and covered it up with the betel nuts, and asked him to go back to his friend and ask him to keep his this pot for you once again, and to tell him you have to go out of town to make some money. He brought that same pot along with the betel nuts, and the seven spooks slipped inside the pot and covered it up with the betel nuts, and asked him to go back to his friend. And ask him to keep this pot for you once again, and to tell him you have to go out of town to make some money. Number seven. What did they do? Answer: The seven spooks came out of the pot and started hitting the shopkeeper. They bashed him up until the shopkeeper cried for mercy. The seven spooks came out of the pot and started hitting the shopkeeper. They bashed him up until the shopkeeper cried for mercy. Number eight. What finally happened to the shopkeeper? The shopkeeper shuddered at the sight and kept the pot quietly in a corner. Then he went looking for the man, begged his pardon, and returned him all the money. And he also added a good bit extra and begged him to take away the pot from his house. The shopkeeper shuddered at the sight and kept the pot quietly in a corner. Then he went looking for the man. Begged his pardon and returned him all the money, and he was sorry, and he added a good bit extra and begged him to take away the pot from his house. So in this way, you'll try to write these question answers in a copy with correct spelling words. Thank you.